Hi everyone, welcome back to my shop. I'm Sterling Davis and welcome back to Sterling's Woodcrafts. I want to give you a quick update of what's going on in the shop, give a couple of quick thank yous, and show a few organizational things I've been doing to try to help tidy up the shop. First, I wanted to give a thank you to Ronnie Sutton. Ronnie is a friend of mine on the internet world and he sent me out some chisels and some pin blanks and a little ball opener. I'm not sure how this works. But thank you, Ronnie. I greatly appreciate you sending that out. That means a lot uh, to get a package uh, like that from uh, uh, someone that actually watches the channel. And then I just uh, greatly appreciate it. I'd also like to give a shout out to Drew Short over at Rockin' H Woodshop. Drew thought about me and sent me out some Rockin' H Woodshop engraved glasses. These are pretty cool. I'm sensing some kind of a theme here. Thank you, Drew. I appreciate that so much. Just wanted to let you know what was going on in the shop and a couple of upgrades I've done. It's real simple stuff you could do, real simple. Um, just some organizational stuff. Probably nothing new that you hadn't already seen, but I just thought it was uh, neat and I did it myself and something you may not have seen and I could pass it along to you. So let's get started. If you remember the Ambrosia Maple Bowl I did, I did the cut out of it. And these corners are great pieces that you can save to do pin blanks with and I'm going to show you how to cut these out real quick on the bandsaw. Your typical pin blanks three quarter inch by three quarter inch so I just put my fence up to three quarter inch here and we're going to make the cuts long ways. Four pin blanks. Once you measure the drawer out, you're just going to do you some dots, and I chose to do mine about two inches apart. I'm going to start one inch out and go every two inches for the larger bits, and on the other end, I'll just do about an inch apart. With a pencil, I'm just going to draw a line, a graph it out. That way, we'll have the lines exactly where they need to be, straight down and horizontally between each measurement. Now that we got the horizontal, we'll do the vertical. We have the first dot two inches down, an inch out. So we'll go every two inches downward. Now at each, each cross point will be your drill hole. Each one of my router bits that I have are a quarter inch on the, tail, on the stock. So we're going to use a quarter inch drill bit to make the holes. Now that I have all the drill holes that I want, I left room if I wanted to make another row. I could do smaller bits here if I want to drill later, but I really don't have that many bits after I pulled all of my bits out that I could find. Uh, still, it's going to be better to organize it so I can get to them and see what I've got, uh, but I don't have that many, so what I've got drilled will work. Now all we've got to do is organize it. Now that I've cut the board down to size to the drawer, I'm just going to lay it in. Got my small router, my Dremel tool, and my bits easy accessible in one place, one drawer, easy to get to. A while back I showed you how I put this board on where I could put the board underneath it, put it up and use it for my spray adhesives to keep everything off my workbench. But recently Nick Ferry showed Jay Bates something that was real neat that I can eliminate this and use my workbench. All this space versus this. The one thing I don't like about this, when you lift it up and put it up, you're always trying to find the right size board for it to make it level, because I never have one laying around. 
on top of that, I keep all of my scroll saw blades and scroll saw materials underneath on this pegboard. It makes it difficult to get to when this is down if I'm needing some scroll saw items. Go about four inches up from the top and then round off this here for the holes. Now that I have the marks where I want them to be, I'm going to have two dowel holes here and here, one for the paper and one for uh, wax paper for glue ups. Thanks Nick and Jay for the suggestion on the paper roll. That's really going to come in handy and help clean up a whole lot quicker. Before I go, I'm going to share with you something I found while I was in Gatlinburg this past Valentine's weekend with my wife. Had an awesome weekend, wonderful time, but as you're driving through, you see a lot of wood. So let me show you what I found and picked up on the way. Not going to tell you where I got it simply because I don't know if it was legal to pick it up or not, but I got it. So check this out. A couple of nice cedar pieces here and a cedar branch. These great big pieces here are, looks like oak, I'm assuming, but I'm gonna get these milled up and see what we can make out of these. But some nice pieces of wood. Well, that about wraps it up. I just wanna thank you for tuning in, checking out what's going on in my shop. Thank you again for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the stickers. So I filled up two doors on the stickers. That's pretty cool. And I'm starting on my third one. I got some small spots there on that second door, but I think we can get those filled in. Hopefully, we can get some more stickers in. So send them out if you got them. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. And always remember, be kind to one another. Yeah. WIA was a hit or whatever, but we can't pretend we got the credit we deserve. So now, <laughs> we got our own event. Check us out. Split like bananas, made our own banner. Maybe you don't understand us. Now we in that.